Welcome. This is one of my favorite games from growing up. I don't know how many hours I put into playing Angband. Uh, th this was one of my first roguelike games. Uh, my first experience with D&D. &D. Uh, my, first, my first real taste of Tolkien. Uh, this game... Wow, when I found this game, it was the only game I played for months, months, maybe a year, until I found other games that were like this one and scratched the same itch. This is a classic roguelike game. Uh, it is so roguelike that it is trying to emulate the original game Rogue. It's trying to build upon the original game called Rogue rogue that all roguelikes are named after and this one came out years after just like months after rogue came out um it has no graphics i should say it had no graphics when i was a kid it was just this ascii text um since then they've they've actually made it they've ported it to uh, Windows uh, proper. Uh, so I'm, I'm playing this natively here. I'm not having to use VMware. I'm not having to use um, uh, with, with Wine on Linux. I'm not having to use a special weird portal. I'm not having to use DOSBox. This is natively running on Windows. And you can get it natively running on whatever system you're you're playing it on. You're on a Mac? Great. You can play Angband. You're on uh, a phone? Fine, you can play Angband. <laughs> you're on you're on a toaster that has a screen and a keyboard. You can play Angband. Uh, they have options for pretty much every setup, and you can just go to the website refile.org and download Angband. You can go to the forums. They're actually surprisingly active forums for a game that is oh my, thirty years old now. It's crazy. It's such a good game. So let's dive right in. But first, but first, when the world is old and the powers grow weary, then Morgoth, seeing that the guard sleepeth, shall come back through the door of night, out of the timeless void. Then shall the last battle be gathered. Okay. Oh, oh, so good. This game actually made me want to go and figure out what on earth all of this meant, all of this D and D stuff, and uh, and and look and it actually made me want to go read the Silmarillion to figure out what Angband is and who this Morgoth is and all of these people. And uh, a lot of this is taken from Tolkien. And let me just see here. Uh, I usually play a, uh, a Dunedain, so we'll go with that. Uh, and, and again, I'm going up and down like this, and it's changing dynamically. Back in the day, back in the day, you just had to guess and you know hit H. Um, let's go with standard. I like standard. Standard's good. Uh, let's see here. And then we can... So here's all of my stats. We got your basic strength, intelligence, wisdom, dex, con... Um, standard resting armor class level. I mean, obviously we're starting out at level one. What gold we have, how much overweight we have, and then all of our various uh, stat, and then a tiny little, a tiny little blurb. Hey, this is this is your character. You're one of several children of a serf. You are a credit to the family. You have dark brown eyes, straight black hair, and a very dark complexion. All right. So let's see here. I want. Uh, a higher con. All right, 16 looks to be... 16 looks to be good. Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba. Uh, kind of a low strength there. Okay. That one was pretty good. 15, 14. Okay, a 17 and a 13. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, 17... Constitution is going to be pretty good. Let's see here. You are the first child of a guildsman. You are a credit to the family. You have brown eyes, straight brown hair, and an average complexion. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. This is, this is who I am and 
why I do. All right. Um, oh, yeah, so you can go back to the previous role, uh, which is also something that you couldn't do originally. They put in a lot of little fancy things. And name for your character. Dorbrin Barclas. Perfect. Except character history, you got it. All right, and then we can start over. Otherwise, we continue. All right, now this... Okay, no, I've got to change it. I've got to change it. We're going to start with the original... No, no, those are not original. No, none. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling it. You feeling it? I'm feeling it. Here we go. Ah, so I'm the at sign. Right over here. Let's get into it. Let's get going. And uh, also, this is this is kind of new. Uh, all of these extra little things around uh, the little stat windows. Uh, old screens were not big enough to have that, this many stat windows, unless you were super rich, and I was not. Uh, so it's really nice. Got my inventory just out here. You can see nothing. You see no objects. Good, good. So let's go. Uh, how much gold do I have? Um, okay, I've got um, 137 AU. That's gold. 137. All right. I'm going to want... Uh, buy at least one potion of cure light wounds before you enter the dungeon. Snafu the midget. He's a gnome. Oh, do I have any food? I have a ration of food. All right, because in this game you do need to eat food. Otherwise... Uh, otherwise... All right, so I want to buy some food. Can I just click enter and have it buy? No, okay. Uh, no, I don't want to browse a book. I want to purchase item A. How many? Let's go with five. Price, you can uh, you can accept or you can actually haggle, but I've forgotten the button for haggle. You bought five food and there it goes it's added it my five food all right let's get out of here each one of these numbers on the screen is a shop all right see potions of cure light wounds okay so this is the potion and scrolls place ha ha yes um i don't know what's what's my uh inventory inventory is here and then these are uh the, yeah when you bring up the inventory over here this changes to my armaments currently um, let's see here. Wind torch, arrows, short bow, and the main gauche. Man, man, I, I never knew how to pronounce that, so I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. And you see it says 1D5. <laughs> At first I had no idea what that was like. 1D5? One, one, one what's, what's a 1D5? I don't... 1D4? What, what do these mean? I don't know. Uh, and so we just were like, oh, big numbers, great, big numbers. And so we'd get, you know, 1D, 1D20. And we'd get, oh, that's going to be that's gonna be really good. And it would hit real hard. But not realizing that the, like, 2D12 would actually probably hit better on average. Okay, so we got a main gauche. We don't have anything on right hand, left hand, around neck, on body. So we're, we need armor, not weapons. Let's see if we can find out. Uh, here we go, here we go. Here's some armor. I don't have much money, but I think I should try to get uh, some leather armor. But let me figure out the haggle button. No, the haggle button. Where's the question mark? There's the question mark. Because uh, you can always press question mark for help. Or just go to contents. Here, let's examine, purchase the selected item. Gives the item to Some wants it's okay. Right. Exits the building, examines L. Okay. L. Examine which item can be destroyed by acid or fire. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, can we purchase this? Purchase which item? This one? Oh, uh, I bought it. I did buy it. Okay, I wanted to haggle, but it didn't let me. Oh, good note. How much money do I have left? Uh, gold remaining, 38. Can I buy anything else for that? I cannot. Ooh, stuff's expensive around here. All right, I think there's another shop that does sell stuff. There's my, uh, weapon. No, there's my home. So you can dump stuff there if you want to save it for later. Uh, oh, yes. And the, uh, the elf. 
with all the magic spell books. These will come in handy later, but right now they're kind of worthless because I think I already have... Yeah, I've got a book of nature magics, lesser charms. Won't really come in handy until later. Oh, and we can see there's already a blubbering idiot following us. <sighs> Metal cap of wisdom. Ooh. Oh, and I can't buy any of this. Huh, okay. Arrows, shovels. Oh, I can buy a cloak. I can buy a cloak. Yeah, I can definitely buy a cloak. Purchase this item. One. Uh, and then... Huh. I, I wonder if they got rid of the haggling mechanic. Bought a cloak for six gold. Okay, well, fine. Huh. Let's wear... Wear or wield which item? Soft leather armor and then a cloak. There we go. So now, if we're going to inventory, we see that over here we've got a cloak, and a soft leather armor, and a wooden torch with uh, with 5,000 turns of light on it. And so, I think we're ready to go. And go. So we come over here, and we descend. Now, this is a true roguelike. You enter into state, uh, a maze of down staircases. This seems a quiet, peaceful place right here. Um, that will actually change. Uh, because as you go down into um, into the dungeons and you go down into a new level, every time, here, let me just show you. I can go back up and I'm back home. But then if I go down, I'm in a different place now. It seems like a tame, sheltered place. And then I come back up and I go back down and it's a totally different place. You will never be able to go back to the same level uh, we, we, same level, same height, but not the same actual area. All of these levels are dynamically generated, and sometimes there's places that you can't get to unless you actually dig a tunnel to a room. You can you can do a thing, uh, cast a clairvoyance or whatever, and see that there's a room over there, and there's no way to get to the room other than by digging to it. But the really fun mechanic is when you go down to a level, and it says, oh, this level seems interesting or something about this level seems special, that means there is an artifact on that level. And you get one chance to pick up that artifact. If you go... Oh, cool, there's a thing. Uh, grab it. Uh, if you go to that... Oh, man. Oh. oh, I might just die. Hold on. Am I poisoned? Why am I yellow? Oh, no, I'm just... Okay, yeah, this is another one of those things that changed slightly. Um, if you go to that level and you don't pick up the artifact and then you leave that level, that artifact will be gone forever and you cannot find it again. And there are, there are hundreds of artifacts in this game. Get him, get him, get him. Get the wild dog. Oh, it's, it's probably a whole pack of wild dogs. All right, yeah, so you can see uh, I'm down to 13 health of 16, and that's why I've turned yellow here. Uh, and you'll see that a little a bar pop up here. This is new. This is another one of those conveniences, one of those quality of life things I've added to this port. This is my enemy's life. The wild dog flees in terror. So I can't see him anymore. So I don't know how much health he has. Ooh, a whole pile of potions over here. Now he's almost dead, so I can I can just go and go get him. Um, as I said, this is a true roguelike. If, uh oh, what just happened? There's something, uh, something touches you. Uh oh, there's an invisible something in the way. Oh no. Um, it's a true roguelike. So if I die in the game, it deletes my save file. You feel there is not but cobwebs here. Well, that's sad. I want there to be more than just cobwebs. I want to be able to find stuff and sell stuff. Ah, oh, it's a door. That's a door. A lot of times you'll have to just kind of run into stuff and figure out what it is. But then eventually, as a kid, while I was playing this, I would stop seeing the J's or the K's or... Oh, that kobold is, uh, real something, real something. I would instead see a writhing worm mass or, you know, whatever it, it was actually. Okay, so since, uh, 
since it will totally kill me and delete my save file, I'm just gonna just gonna save here, run around real quick, and heal up the slow way. Uh, I think is there a rest button? No, that's read. Uh, rest button. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. Well, we're in town. Let's go sell some stuff. Some potions here. All right. Uh, I want to sell oily yellow potions. Let's just sell one. I give it to him. It's a potion of heroism. And so now he lets me know that's a per potion of heroism. Oh, no, no. Uh, no. I want to sell. Give which item? I want to sell. I want to sell. How do we sell? Uh, big S, maybe. Capital S. No? Nope, not letting me. All right. Help. Contents. Examines. Purchases. Gives an item to store in return for a signification. Some wands and saves will also be recharged. Exits the building. Can I not sell stuff anymore? Okay, yeah. So, apparently... Apparently... I don't get to sell stuff to the shops. Rather, I can give them one of them and get the identification and then be able to identify it myself later. Uh, but more stuff gets dropped. More actual gold gets dropped in the dungeons. Which is kind of weird. Potion of boldness. Treasure detection. Okay, well, that's interesting. Let's play that and see how well that works, if at all. So we're looking for gold. we got to find some gold. got to find money. Ooh, hardy little fellow. And did we just level up? We did. We just leveled up. Let's just oh, eat, eat which food. Yeah, we'll have to do that later. There we go. Simple little rest command. All right, so we've leveled up. This is the giant white centipede. You've killed at least one of these creatures. Good, good. Welcome to level two. Can I learn any books? There are no spells you can cast. Okay. Read. No. Read which scroll. No, don't want to rest. Learn book, 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 read, peruse, browse, huh, that's probably why there's no haggle button either, ah, uh, there's a wall in the way, okay, so this is the symbol for money, right here, this little, this little asterisk symbol, that's the symbol for money, and if you find it just lying around, you can just pick it up and then have more money. I'm not sure I like that change. I'm not sure I like that change, but it is an option that you can turn on and off. And that's one of the things with roguelikes back in the day. They all had tons of options because there was no playing online. There was no multiplayer nonsense. If you didn't like the fact that you couldn't sell stuff, it's perfectly acceptable for you to go low hit point warmer. Oh, this is um, Farmer Maggot's dog. You die. Okay, we died. There it is. <laughs> okay, let's quickly get a new game going. Start new game, yes. And see if we can change... Uh, start this character, change... Just a minute, I'll be right back with you. Accept the history. Let's go. Uh, we got a holy book of prayers. Two rations of food and a scroll of word of recall. So then, uh, if we can't buy and sell real quickly. An ever-burning lantern? Oh, wow. Very nice. Okay, we do need to get some armor going on then. A small metal shield, metal shield, metal shield. I've got 300 bucks and I can't buy any of your garbage. Caps of Infravision? Ooh, you can see you can see things running around. Mm, seven metal caps. 
Let's grab a metal cap. Purchase metal cap. How many one? Thank you. Uh, and then a gauntlet. Yep. And then iron shod boots four plus three. Ooh. That will take most of the rest of our money, but that's okay. We're going to purchase iron shod boots four plus three. And now we can only get sandals or leather gloves. <laughs> All right, let's put on our hat and our gloves and our boots and get going with our, with our, with our 22 cash. Let's go find some people to mess up. There we go. And uh, you can you can set it to not auto search if you want to, or you can set it to search automatically as you come up to a wall. You will uh, you will search at least a little, but sometimes if it's hidden extra well, you still won't be able to find it. All right, let's get that and get that. Ah, a jelly. Hit the jelly. Oh no, this is, that's a snake. Hit the snake. Hit the snake. Get him. Yeah. Ooh, four teal potions. Wonder what that's about. And see that? I should have quaffed a potion uh, on my last character. I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played the game in years. Nope, nothing there. You spin around. Uh, race and class abilities. Res sustain constitution, shield bash, and blessed fighter. You get improved melee with blessed or halved, hafted weapons. Ooh, I gotta find me a blessed weapon then. And I remember as a kid, since um, I didn't, I didn't know about you know forcing a backup of a save file or whatever. Um, I had a character that I had spent, I, I don't know, dozens of hours building. And uh, I, I had been playing him for so long, he had the file of Galadriel for a light source. He had uh, this, this special plate armor that occasionally would allow you to use dragon flame in a direction. Um, it, would, it would slowly recharge and then you'd be able to shoot dragon flame and just, just annihilate all sorts of people. You are aware of one other object. Okay, cool, cool. Let's get it. Get it done. I haven't found any money in here, game. You said there was supposed to be more money. I haven't found any. All right, now we get to rest. There's a wall in the way. Yeah, there's a wall in the way. There's a wall in your way. Oh, an icky thing, an icky thing. And as you fight these, you will slowly learn more about them. Um, so you could stop back in the original game and just, you know, whenever you wanted to study about the white icky thing. If you're like, hey, wait a minute, what about the white icky thing? Is that the one with the poison or is that the one with the acid? I forget. Oh, a spotted mushroom patch. Welcome to level two. Okay, I was poisoned there for a second. Oh, that was scary. Suddenly, I turned red. <laughs> not a good, not a good sound. Okay, now can I peruse a book? <laughs> How do I learn a spell? Um, enter character to be identified. Oh no, uh, this one. There we go. Available commands. Learn a spell. Cast a spell. Read a scroll. Do auto pickup. Oh, I should probably enable that. Special wizard mode. Ooh. 
Observe an item. Toggle ignore. Locate player on map. Eat some fuel here. Oh, there it is. G. Gain new spells or prayers. Okay. Uh huh. Because down here it says study. So I can study. Gain uh, uh, spells or prayers. And since I only have the Holy Book of Prayer, Novus's Handbook, that's the one I have to pick. You've learned the prayer of bless. Oh, I can be blessed now. Uh, in the original game, you'd actually get to choose which one to learn, but I guess it makes more sense since you don't know the prayer that you would just start reading and handful the dry fruits. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> and just be like, I wonder what this one is. Oh, I feel real blessed. Ooh, we got some money. Very good. All right, let's take out this centipede. He's poisoning me. He's trying to take me down, but I got his little number. Oh, a whole pack of dogs. C for canine. You understand. No, oh, I'm just taking him out real fast. Get that white icky thing in there. And sometimes you'll heal up fast enough that... You can just heal as they're as they're attacking you. You can heal faster than they can kill you. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get over here. I need to get to level three, which means you need to die. Oh, oh let me just grab some of this. Okay. What is this? What is this? a robe? Ooh, a robe. Now, this game, uh, like Castle of the Winds, also has cursed items that you don't want to put <laughs> to be putting on, because uh, it has cursed artifacts, too, that are really mean. Okay, that was a soldier ant. <clears throat> yes, and this is the classic... Classic roguelike experience here. And I love it. I could I could play this all the time. This is just so relaxing to me. Because it's it's completely turn based. Oh no, I just wanna wait. Uh, Where will to know? Um, dagger. Oh, what's my? Oh, yeah, my main gouge. Uh, a round neck. I need a, something on my body and something on my back. Oh, that's right. I don't have a. I don't have a robe. I might as well put on this robe and see what happens. You're wearing a robe. Okay. All right. So not cursed at all. So that's good to know. White centipede crawls on you. Ew. Ew. Get him off. Get him off. I see an apple. I will get the apple. I should probably eat something. Equip. No. Eat. Eat which food? An apple. It tastes good. You have no more apples. <laughs> oh, lovely. And this, this is, this is the game. You hit something. Oh, no, there's also invisible things. Um, and when you level up, um, you have killed it. You will be able to get... Uh, oh, that was that helmet of the infravision? Would allow you to see what that thing was. Oh, six scrolls of what's it majigget Cool. <laughs> There's a wall in the way. Yeah. And for whatever reason, when you hold down shift, it allows you to go in a straight line all the way until something happens. However, uh, it doesn't do that for all of the numpad. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this kind of weird go in a straight line and then run into a wall and then use that to go into a straight line. That's probably why I'm good at those puzzles. Because I played this game, trying to figure out I don't want to move my hand from 
the four main directions, I hit a teleport trap. Oh, no. Oh, I'm over here. Oh, there I am. Found me. Oh, I don't want to move my hand. That, that, that'll take time. That'll be inconvenient. So, <laughs> I just learned to, hey, if I bamf around, and I go this direction, and then I go that direction. Welcome to level three. I can learn one more prayer. Let's learn a prayer from this book. Learn the prayer to detect evil. Ooh. Ooh. Handy, handy little utility spell there. Disarmed the strange room. And now I've got I've got 46 health points. And so suddenly this level this level really isn't that hard. Uh, because now I'm up to level three, and most of the stuff here is probably around a level one, maybe a level two. Um so I mean if if we look at the map real quick, I've already explored most of this. Uh, but usually, since w when I was a kid, since it is a roguelike, um, and you die, and you're done, and then you have to start all over again. Um, rock lizard, yeah. Uh, we would we would be very cautious, and I would I would play this level for hours. I'd go do this level, and then go sell stuff. And then do this level again. Ooh, wooden torch. Uh-huh. And some scrolls and another wooden torch. Great. And then and then go sell stuff and then you know do this level over again, over and over and over again. Uh, until I was like a level 10. And then I would take on level two of the dungeon. And uh, I'm not gonna do that today. We're gonna we're gonna dive in and get us level two here. Uh what's my weight actually? Mmm. Oh, lots of rations of food. Yeah, just tearing right through that guy. All right, um, I've got 64 pounds. Oh, Blood and Games, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm talking about how, uh, how chunky I am. I've got 64 pounds on me. I can get another 35 and a half pounds. I'm not sure if I want to go down another level right away. I should probably eat. Yes, uh, that's uh, capital E. Let's eat this. I add an ate an apple. Handfuls of dried fruit. Full. Okay, so I'm full. I can't eat anymore. Uh, but I'm not completely fed. And that's fine. Get that rock snake out of here. Go on, you. Yes. Alright, so I think... Um, I think we're ready down for... Level 2. And my children are home making a racket upstairs. <laughs> As they are wont to do. So if you hear any thumping, it's not the monsters in the dungeon. It's the monsters in my house. Cute little monsters. Come on. Come on, centipede. Be dead, please. Oh, you're just going to kite me over here to this floating eye, aren't you? Yep, floating eye. I missed the floating eye. I killed the floating eye. Floating eye dead. And he's done. Because he's just an eyeball. What's he gonna do? Tangerine potions. Oh, you know what I should do? I need to go back to the I need to go back to the um, the shops so I can give one of each of these things to the people and identify them. That's what I need to do. Where's an up? There's a down, there's a down. <laughs> All of the ups are on the other side of the map. Of course, perfect. Okay, well, let me get over there. And, ooh, ooh, a scruffy looking hobbit hits you. All right, Mr. Scruffy looking hobbit. And uh, later down in the dungeons, the, uh, the critters and monsters that you kill will actually drop stuff. Here, I mean, it's all, it's all pretty 
pretty uneventful, but... All right, so let's see here. We've got four light teal potions. I, I was just I was just figuring out that this this game is running native on Windows, uh, modern Windows, and they've changed some stuff. And one of those you can't sell items. You can only give one or more items. And uh, oh, yeah. And occasionally you find I, potions of slowness. You want to go super slow? Potion of boldness. Okay, that's good. Uh, scrolls Hendus X. Uh, that's a scroll of light. Good. Scrolls of Korekema. Uh, that's that. Scrolls of blessing. Good. good. Scrolls entitled Cast of Blame. Face door. Oh, cool handy that so so the original game you're you're going down in and you're grabbing stuff and you're selling stuff and uh, making a nice profit here here uh, I mean I do have 126 gold and I don't know where I got it from maybe maybe the individual people drop stuff when you when you take them out and you just automatically pick it up and it's not telling me that or it's telling me that I'm just moving too quickly to notice. Uh, I don't know. Either way. But I can't sell stuff. I want to I wanna sell stuff. What's in my inventory? Okay, I need on my arm and on my back. Okay. And I don't have anything to shoot in. <sighs> Still running a bit light. Oh, I can, I can drop stuff. Let's see here, let's see here. I have a red potion. Where are those, um... There it is, potions of slowness. Um, how do I drop stuff? Oh, floor, there it is. Let's go here, potions of slowness, floor. Select an item. Oh, no, that's... Okay. I don't know how to drop stuff. Drop which item? Okay, so it's, you just hit D, everybody. Just so you know, when you're playing, you just hit D. <laughs> yes, drop all. Drop all, please. Okay. So, uh, it's kind of an interesting twist, not being able to sell stuff. Because then I've got this dagger and I don't know what I can't if I can't sell it I just give it to him and now he's got extra I mean why then carry it around oh well maybe that's the thing maybe that's they don't want me just carrying around random garbage huh so anyway we're back down in the dungeon here and as I've said, this is all randomly generated and a completely new level that you'll never experience again. Um, a very interesting setup. Originally, when I first was playing the game, I was like, wow, this is great. Get no other game like this. Yeah, well, um, okay, it was one other game, but I just didn't know about it. So... Let's go down to level two. Since we're being adventurous, since we've already died once, let's go down to level two. A tame and sheltered place. Why don't we read a scroll of blessing? You feel righteous. Ooh, I feel righteous. So I shall I shall destroy this rock lizard. Oh, giant green frogs. Excuse me with righteousness. A Shrieker Mushroom Patch. Oh no. Oh no, we've already got to the Shriekers. Yee. Oh, 
I feel there aren't any treasures here. Well, what about that? I found some money. Isn't that kind of like treasure? Game? Ooh, purple potions. And a wicker shield. Oh, I don't have a wick. I don't have a shield. Cool. Let's put on the wicker shield. And go. I feel like I can take anything now. We'll destroy them. A cave spider. Oh, a bunch of cave spiders. Okay, that's a good thing I'm blessed. Oh, boy. Welcome to level two indeed. Oh, oh, that, oh, that found him. Aha. And here's some mold, the gray mold. Oh, such a fun game. Like I said, very relaxing. Maybe not, actually, you know what? Let's just make it a little bit more exciting. Original tiles. There we go. Look, look, I'm a person. <laughs> so yeah, this is um this is something they added in much later. I I never got to play this as a kid. This is something I discovered. Oh, that's a rock lizard, everybody. That that little blob there, rock lizard. This is something I discovered much later when I downloaded it to my first smartphone. I'm like, oh, I can play Angban on my phone. Well, not really. It needs a keyboard. A soldier. You've been given a graze. Oh no, I've been grazed, everybody. Uh, I should probably quaff a potion. A low hit point warning. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this is probably where I die. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I don't have minor e minor healing yet. Thanks a lot, game. Oh, I do actually have a scroll of phase door. So let's... Oh, that did not help. Yeah, kind of didn't help either. Rain. Okay. We've got... Three hit points. <laughs> oh, no. They're close enough they can hit me while we're walking. Oh, and I die. All right, well. <laughs> it was a good run. It was a good run. We're sorry, Debra and the Barkless. The Galleons. Oh, sorry, Debra and Barkless. The Galleons. Oh, we died. Killed on level two by a soldier. And so, like I said, in the original game, it, it deletes your file and your file is gone and there's no way to save it uh, and you can examine the items you have and the messages so it, it was a really interesting really fun little twist a uh, little thing trying to trying to learn the game well enough that I could get a character down because supposedly down at level like 50 um, down at level 50 I think it was which I don't think I ever got to, or maybe it was like level 400, something like that. There was an end boss, and you could take on the end boss, and kill him, and, and and win the game, but then be able to go keep going, because once you've got a character that far, I mean, you don't really want the ending, supposedly. Um, but I never got down that far. Uh, I, I would just keep grinding the, the upper levels until things got super easy, and then move down one level like I go to the same level you know five ten times before going down one more level and that's not really the way they want you to play it but it's one of the ways they allow you to play it but anyway I love this game and this is such a relaxing game for me uh, just to kind of play because you you can just play it not necessarily one-handed because it does use the entire keyboard but uh, you can just play it mindlessly while watching or listening to an audiobook or a, a movie that you've played before. Really a great Zen world game uh, from my childhood. I love it. And, and some of the changes that they make, I really enjoy. Some of them, not so much. I want to sell stuff. 
and there's a setting you can change somewhere to do that. I don't know where it is, but thank you all for watching. And I hope you come back again later. We are, next time, we're going to be playing one of my favorite RPGs from growing up. It is hands down one of my favorite. And bonus, it has graphics. Thank you all for watching. I'll play with you again later. And for those of you watching live on Twitch, uh, just going to state, just going to, uh, I mentioned it in the uh, in the, the stream here already. Um, I am running a giveaway on the channel here. So if you are a follower of the channel, you don't need to do anything else. On Friday, every Friday this month, I'm going to be picking one of my followers here on Twitch to win a game from my list of probably about 100 game codes at this point uh, to be giving away. And uh, I, I'll probably give you a selection of a couple of different games and you can pick from that selection um, and uh, win a free game. And uh, actually one winner this week. Next week, I'm giving away two winners. And the week after that, I'm giving away three winners. So definitely make sure you're following here on the channel. And I'll see you again later.